right guys, um, it's going to be another one of them um, days today, unfortunately. So I was going to check in with you in a minute and let you know what's been going on with baby Aurora, but she's still um, she's still not 100%, hence why we haven't um, we haven't vlogged like we said we was going to do, so I'm going to hand it over to Sarah. Okay guys, I thought that I would check in for a little bit because I've not been in the vlogs for the last couple of days, as most of you know anyway. Aurora has been really, really polar and still is really, really polar. And just to give you a rundown on what's been going on and stuff like that, basically she, you know that we've been to the doctors to and fro and the doctor failed to actually look at Aurora, um, well look at her throat anyway, when we actually requested this to be looked at and she said no, no, it'll, it won't be that, it, it, you know, it's probably just a viral infection and we don't need to check which I will be following up, believe me. As soon as Monday morning rolls round, I will be on the phone asking the doctor why she failed to check Aurora's throat because this could have been dealt with a long time ago and it wouldn't have got as bad as it actually has got, which I'm quite worried about now because we just can't keep the temperature down whatsoever. We're managing to get it to come down for a few hours and then it's straight back up again. So, we got to the hospital yesterday around 12 o'clock. It got to around half four and she was burning up. I mean, she was almost fitting. There was women in the um, room that I was in saying she really needs to be looked at now because she was just, she was crying. She was um, just, it, it was scary. So, it actually came over the tannoid that to see a doctor, it was three and a half hours. Bearing in mind, I've been in there since 12 o'clock and it was now half past four. So that was it then. I went on one. I, <laughs> I went down and I turned around and said, listen, I've been here since 12 o'clock. My daughter's not had any medicine. She's burning up. She's going to faint or she's going to have a fit because she's that hot. And he kept saying, yeah, we'll get somebody to come out and um, recheck her obs to make sure that she's okay and stuff like that. I mean, a temperature must have been around 41. It must have been because she was hotter than she'd actually ever been. And even when we got into the hospital, a temperature was still high anyway. Um, it was like 38.6, something like that. So we were actually gonna go into the walking center, but because our, our blood pressure was um, a temperature, sorry, was so high. Um, they'd said, no, we're going to put you into like the baby unit where they look at babies and you see a doctor. So when I'd actually been to see him and said like she needs medicine and stuff like that, it still took him almost half an hour to come back. Sorry, I've got something in my eye, it's doing me head in. To come back and a nurse actually do her observations. Anyway, when this nurse came, I was actually looking for a, a nurse and a doctor anyway, and they'd come out and shouted Aurora. So I said, we were here, blah, blah, blah. Went into this room and explained to the nurse that she'd been poorly since being like six week old, and she'd had the acid reflux, and she'd had chest infections, and she was on an inhaler, and told them basically everything. Yeah, seriously, we could have wrote a book. We were talking for that long. So she said, right, I'm going to check her throat and I'm going to check it properly. But she said, obviously, she's going to weave a lot because I need to see, like, right down her throat. And as soon as she put the, um, like, the stick in, she said, I can see it straight away. She said she's got a real bad case of um, tonsillitis. And I'd, I'd already explained to her then that the doctor, we'd seen the doctor and the doctor had failed to look at her throat. So she actually took notes down of like the doctor and when we went to see her because they said it was only like two weeks ago when we last went so they took notes down and they said they were going to file a complaint against the surgery to ask them why um the baby was failed the care that she should have been given or the observations that should have been taken out when i took her so anyway cut long story short they turned around and said that we were lucky that we brought her in when we did because if we would have left it any longer, you know, it, 
it could have been a, it could have been worse than it actually is even though it's bad anyway um because her tonsils were that swollen there was only like a slight gap between a throat and like her airway so that it just shouldn't have been left anyway so i was absolutely fuming and the hospital wasn't happy either so they just said that we had to give her the they were going to put her on a strong dose of um, penicillin like an antibiotic and she's on that four times a day and then i've got to keep an eye on her for like 48 hours to make sure that it's kicking in because they say like it should kick in either some babies it'll kick in straight away because they've never had it before or it could take like 48 hours so after 48 hours if she's still not any better then she needs to go back so hopefully i've just been down and checked her now and she is getting a temperature again but it's not right it doesn't feel as hot as it usually does at the minute so i'm trying to like hold off giving her any medicine she has had cow pollen a couple of hours ago um and she has due norofen and it seems to be the norofen that came, seems to be keeping it on balance with the cow pollen. so with a bit of luck it might ease tonight so i'm just she has gone to bed tonight and she's sleeping i've actually had not even changed her yet because she'd fell asleep and because she hadn't slept for like two or three days i didn't want to disturb her so I just put her straight to bed and I just thought if she wakes up later on I'll just wipe her down, clean her and then change her. So I'm just, it's just a nightmare. So I'm just so tired because she's been up for three nights now in a row. She's not slept at all. Um, because by the time she does fall asleep, her temperature's rocketing again right through the roof. So that's it's just something we've got to deal with at the minute and hopefully she'll be better before Christmas Day and we don't end up in a &E on Christmas Day because that would just be our luck um, but like Dave said we've not it's not been like normal vlogs it's not been normal vlogs for like a whole week um, but we are hopeful that we can kick back in in the next couple of days properly and get these vlogs back to normal Hopefully Aurora will start getting, excuse me, better now and things will be better and she won't cry as much. It makes me think, has she always had an infection in her throat? Because they've never really checked her throat. Um, you know, has that just been niggling away there since she's been a baby? And, and I'm just, I'm more worried because it's cold. And the other thing is, her hands keep staying really cold and her feet keep sta staying really cold, which is quite worrying as well. Like, the rest of her body is just burning up so much, but then parts of her body are just, like, freezing cold. So, I'm just going to keep an eye on that as well. And if that continues, then um, we might be back at the hospital tomorrow just to have that checked out. But, yeah, I just thought I'd keep you updated and hopefully... We can get some sleep tonight and then resume as normal tomorrow with a bit of luck. And Aurora will be a happy, smiley self again. So I hope you're all having a good day. Thanks for coming back and um, watching our shit vlogs. <laughs> but, you know, that's just the way it is in a minute. Family comes first, doesn't it? Hopefully everything will be back to normal soon. So anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow. Definitely. Everybody's up to date now. I'm going to end today's vlog, get it over and done with. We have uh, definitely 100% vlog today. Me and Sarah went, uh, not me and Sarah, me and Porsche went to watch uh, Rise of Skywalker. I will fill you all in with that tomorrow. It is, um, it is amazing. So do not forget to smash the like button, subscribe if you're not already. Make sure you click the notification button, there's nothing. Make sure you leave us a comment if you can. And we will see you guys tomorrow because we do this every single day.